This next letter is from a listener who would like to share some helpful insights. She writes, I am no theologian, but I ask only that the Holy Spirit would help me to communicate to you the very clear command of Jesus Christ himself to partake of his body and blood right here on earth. This is the only way he can continue to nourish his mystical body through the word. What do you think? May I say to you, first of all, Anything that is taken physically does not minister to you spiritually. It has to be something spiritual to give you something spiritual. And therefore, I think quite obvious for several reasons, he didn't mean his literal body. The meaning of the literal body, the meaning of the literal blood, it was like partaking of it when he shed it upon the cross. But to say that you partake of the literal blood of course you do not. You do not partake of his literal body. If you did, you'd be a cannibal. That, of course, would be strictly forbidden. I think it is made so clear at the Lord's Supper, for instance, he made it clear that that wine spoke of the blood of Christ and the bread spoke of the body of Christ. So that I think, again, there's always a danger of stretching these statements out to mean more than actually is there. So I'd have to come to the conclusion, as I have a long time ago, he did not mean, or could he mean, the literal body, our literal blood. The idea that you can change wine into blood by some hocus-pocus method, it doesn't seem to me to be the answer to it. That, again, means that you're not partaking of the literal blood of Christ, which you are emphasizing. If wine can be changed into that blood, then it's actually not his blood, is it? Although it's been changed into blood, but couldn't be his blood. You're trying to press Scripture into a certain mold. We ought to be delivered from that sort of interpretation.